Well, there's this lady who lives in an apartment complex and she's been praying and calling out to God for the last few days, right? Because she needs groceries. She's broke, she's hungry and she needs food. And she's been calling on God. And, and so she's out on her balcony doing that. And the guy above her in her apartment, you know, he's listening to this and he's an atheist guy. And, and uh, she's out on her balcony. Oh Lord, you know, I'm hungry father, you know. You know, God, could you send me some food and blah, blah, blah. And she's praying and on and on. So the atheist guy decides he's going to give her a hard time. So he yells over to the balcony. He's like, you know, can you keep it down, down there? You know, I'm trying to watch the game. And he's like, anyways, there is no such thing as God. I mean, God's a fairy tale. And she's like, uh, oh, sorry for bothering you, sir. But uh, no, God is real. I'm sorry, you know for you but you don't know that and he laughed at her to the scorn whatever anyways the guy for some reason the guy gets it in his head he's gonna play a trick on her so he goes to the grocery store and he buys up you know a half a dozen bags of groceries okay and he brings them back he puts them in front of her door he he knocks on the door and rings the doorbell and runs off right he goes down to the you know uh, down to the end of the hallway there and he's just waiting and he hears the, the lady comes to the door and she's she's like, oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, praise God. Look at these groceries. And she starts praising the Lord, you know, hallelujah, amen, and all this kind of stuff. Just raising a ruckus. And the atheist guy comes running out. Ha ha, you know, those aren't from God. Those are for me. See, I told you God wasn't real. I bought them. And then she really started praising the Lord. You know, she's just hooting and hollering things. Thank you, God. Thank you. He's like, he's like, what are you doing? What's wrong with you? And uh, he's like, don't you know that I bought those for you? And she's like, my God is so great. He even got the devil to pay for my groceries. So this isn't the Disney of old. This ain't the Mickey Mouse we remember. When Joe Biden let it slip the other night at that speech over in uh, Poland that, that he wanted regime, regime change for God's sakes, we need to, that man cannot remain in power. That was Joe Biden accidentally telling what the United States government's position is for Russia, which has been that way for 20 years. Just so you know, they're not predicting food shortages, they're planning them. Then Joe Biden at that same place in Poland, you know, he was like telling the soldiers, you know, yeah, when you're in Ukraine, you know, the women are going to stand in front of the tanks, blah, blah, blah. You know, he's telling American policy there, you know, because he's got dementia. He can't remember not to tell certain things. So Russia completely justified in going into Ukraine, it turns out, seeing how America's policy is regime change. And they know if they can get a hold of Ukraine, they can set up nukes on the border, thereby weaken Russia and turn Russia into uh, a liberal democracy, which is what they're trying to turn the whole world into. We know, we recognize that as the one world government. And guess who isn't on board with that? Vladimir Putin. It looks to be that Vladimir Putin is 10 times more righteous than the American government. Isn't that a scary thought? So I wonder what they do going forward with, you know, Mickey and Minnie Mouse. How do they work that one out? Minnie and Minnie Mouse? Mickey and Mickey Mouse? Or Mickey, Mickey and Minnie Mouse? Hmm.